All right, hello there, everybody. This is Cholera, and I'm going to be doing another solo commentary. That's right, I am back after uh, about a month or so of not doing any solos. Uh, I know some of you guys have been worried about me. I am doing absolutely great. I've had a great summer, uh, just a bit of a busy one in my undisclosed location that is northeast of New York. Um, I will be going back to the undisclosed location in a bit of time, but right now I am uh, in my normal location, uh, mostly disclosed on Long Island, and I will be... Uh, doing some commentaries tonight. Um, I had an absolutely great summer, though. Uh, thank you guys for asking. I was uh, mainly doing academic stuff, to be honest, um, and I, I was taking finals and all this stuff. Boring stuff uh, about a week ago, but this is going to be uh, me closing up a couple of fun games um, that haven't been done in, the, in, in a while, and this one is Savior versus Lita uh, coming from the Shinhan Bank All-Stars. Um, kind of a warm-up, actually, to uh, the main event of that evening, which was the Pro League Finals. So, uh, obviously, Savior and Lita were not on teams that were playing, but uh, they just got invited in to play. And more importantly, Reach, that's right, Park Jun Suk uh, got invited to play on August 8th when this was played. I am actually doing this as a warm up to uh, my commentary of Reach playing some 2v2, which will be uh, cast next. Should be very exciting, and it's like Protoss, Protoss versus Terran, Terran. Um, so definitely a weird game. But anyway, let's uh, take a look at this. Uh, this is Savior, of course. Um, you know, has has really been up and down this year. Oh, looks at, look, looks like they're allowed to chat also. There's Lita. You can barely see him wearing the height hat. Um, and it is, uh, you know, Lita, I guess. I mean, Lita, there's some, there's a good debate I had, uh, you know, or comments I've seen about who is the best Terran out there. And, and, you know, Lita is generally very good against mediocre to pretty good players, but he you know, doesn't have a positive record, doesn't have an above the 50% record against the best. So that is an interesting uh, point. Um, so, you know, basically, uh, we'll, we'll see if Savior is one of the best, or if that means, uh, you know, he's going to be taken down, just like Lita generally takes down average players. Um, and, you know, he's something like, you know, over 75%, I would say, against players I wouldn't put in the uh, the top rankings, maybe the top 10 or top 20 of StarCraft. Uh, and it looks like uh, Majiyun here is going to open up. I believe he's uh, gone for a 9 pool here, or an over pool. Uh, we don't have an overlord coming out. Obviously, they're saying something pretty funny. Um, most likely uh, most likely just joking around, and uh, we, we don't know what it is, of course. Uh, by the way, this map is Python, uh, for those of you who don't recognize it. Um, we're going to have some kind of wall in here, coming from the Terran player Lita. And, uh, yeah, this is all really hilarious to the, like, uh, millions of Koreans who can understand. Um, but not to me. Unfortunately, uh, I don't know Korean. If you guys know Korean, please, uh, do translate a little bit of that. That'd be pretty cool. Anyway, it looks like we've got ourselves some gas coming in from Savior. Savior not expanding yet, actually. He's definitely going for a fast tech here. He's definitely going to try to go for some kind of fun build, because, uh, obviously this is not a very serious competition. Kespa has, uh, made all chatting illegal a long time ago. So, uh, you know, obviously this is, they're, they're not going to play necessarily the most standard game. Lita, of course, uh, generally doesn't play the most standard games. Um, well, actually he does kind of play, uh, take that back. I mean, he plays his own standard, I guess. It's not everyone else's standard, but to him, like, you know, uh, mech rushes, wraith rushes against Zerg are pretty standard, and, uh, he, he plays them well, like, uh, you know, against most Zergs. Not against Jadong, though, um, as people have pointed out. Anyway, it looks like, uh, SCV is not gonna get a scout up Savior's ramp. I, I still have no idea what build Savior's going for, but obviously it's gonna go for a fast tech. Um, most likely, uh, a lair into, uh, Possibly a lurker rush. That's right. Um, that would be really one of the few reasons to go for a one hatchery lair build. Uh, as you can see, Savior does not have a second hatchery. Doesn't have an expansion down or anything like that. Meanwhile, Lita has gone for the factory, and uh, we're gonna have to see what that means for Savior. I I can't think um that you know. Well, actually, no, I, I guess, yeah, I really can't expect uh, Lita to not know what's going on because he did see that there was no expansion down, so he's going to be a little bit uh, a little bit curious as to why Savior didn't expand yet, and that is uh, usually, you know, indicative of some kind of rush, tech rush coming up. Savior also producing a ton of links, and there is the Hydralis Den, so we are going to see a one-hatchery lurker rush 
Um, definitely a fun build, uh, an all-in build if uh, there ever was one against Terran players, and certainly um, uh, just a, just a fun build to watch. I mean, it's it can work really well, uh, and and it's going to be low, you know, mo high micro, low econ, no matter what happens. This game is going to be over or decided fairly quickly. Uh, Savior's not going to have an expansion. He's going to really need that tech as soon as possible. But look at this. Lita has gone for a s dual starport. So like I said, he's going to go for his rates. Um, I don't know what they're chatting. Maybe they are giving away some things or trying to, uh, you know, kind of just sandbag each other about what they're doing. But this is going to be interesting. Two port rates against Lurker Rush. I got to say, the two port rates seem superior to me. Um, because, you know, l Lurkers are going to be... Savior is going to have so few larvae to build Hydralisks and Lurkers. Uh, the Lurkers are not going to be able to shoot up, obviously. Savior's going to lose all of his drones, um, whereas uh, Lita could possibly put down either an engineering bay uh, or a science fa facility, actually, and get a s science vessel out um, in reasonable time. And more importantly, Lita is also going to have an early scout with this, uh, this build here. He is going to know what's going to go on very soon. Um, and, and the moment he sees this, he is going to find a way of dealing with it. Really, a uh, turret in the front with some marines in a bunker, and that should take care of Savior's Lurker Rush. Unfortunately for Savior, um, Lita did not seem to go for an opening here that is very vulnerable to a Lurker Rush. Although, I could be wrong. You know, obviously, uh, Savior could pull this off still if Lita doesn't spot it soon enough. Lita's going to take the time to kill off a Overlord. Savior does not want to reveal that Hydralisk to Lita because uh, Lita will know what's going on. Um, almost certainly, if he sees a Hydra just wandering around like that, uh, you know, I mean, I mean, it could be a response to a mech build, but given that combination of things, a anyway, he is going to find out in just about 30 seconds or so. Um, Savior also bringing an Overlord over there, so it could be for a drop also. Oh me, oh my, actually, it uh, could be a slow drop. Oh man, Savior is totally spotted though, so I think uh, a lot of it's going to come down to whether Savior can get that drop off. This is going to be very interesting. Savior's plan completely spotted. Um, Lita now obviously has in his mind a bunch of reactions that he can do. As you can see, he is putting down bunkers. And Savior bringing up a group of lings there. No air cover, obviously, or anti-air. So uh, they're going to pick that a little bit. Although uh, there's enough lings there. He doesn't worry about that. More importantly, he needs to do damage, though. There's only two lurkers, it looks like, out there. And there's the engineering bay, almost finished. No uh, commsat station, as they're showing us, of course. But um, is this going to be enough? I really don't know. Savior! Oh, man! Is he going to get down in time? He does burrow in time. Good job, Savior, there. But looks like Lita uh, is building a turret right now. However, he is going to lose that bunker, perhaps. Um, Lita going to try to repair the bunker. I think he's going to be able to do it, actually. Uh, I really think he's going to be fine here on this defense. Uh, well, no. That bunker is going to go down. All right. So that's going to help Savior. Savior working on the barracks right now. If he can get the barracks lifted or destroyed, that would change everything in this game. Man, looks like the barracks is lifting. So, Savior actually, possibly with a chance here. Savior needs to go in with the lings right now and pick off the turret, though, um, before more reinforcements can get in there. There's Savior moving in with the lurkers. Lurkers get target fired by the wraiths. And like I said, oh, man, the lack of anti-air just killing Savior there. Obviously, he cannot build hydros to protect himself there. And Savior has just gotten lings through. The lings are not going to do too well, though, against those uh, massive numbers of SCVs. It doesn't look like Savior had a drop... Uh, going at all. Um, that was probably him just, uh, you know, moving the Overlord, and, and nobody knows exactly why, but maybe he was thinking about a drop, but he did not have uh, what looks like to be a drop ready. So, Savior, I think, is going to be out of this game pretty soon um, for going for this audacious rush, but uh, obviously his economy is completely dead. Oh, man, he's building a Queen's Nest, um, and one base Terran just, just eats the crap out of... Uh, Savior's build, and there's GG coming from Savior. Uh, so Savior, not wanting to drag it off long and, uh, any longer, I guess. Um, kind of a, a silly game, but certainly uh, always fun to watch some weird builds. Um, I think uh, I think basically both players were just uh, just waiting for Reach's game to start because, uh, well, actually, no, no, Reach had, I believe. Well, if the order is correct that I'm getting here, I think Reach had just finished playing. So obviously the uh, the smell of testosterone was overwhelming inside of their booths, and they were unable to play for more than 10 minutes before uh, having massive ball shrinkage uh, in response. It's like, you know, those people who take steroids. Um, they actually, uh, that part shrivels uh, in, in response to all those testosterone. But anyway, so, looks like uh, we're done here with Savior versus Lita. Now for what, for me, is the main event. Uh, we're going to be watching a 2v2 here. Jangby and 
Uh, Reach, that's right. Jang B and Reach on one team versus Hwasen and C on the other team. So I I'm prepared to see some Protoss Protoss domination here. We'll see you in the next game.